So I picked the tray here, this is the best fit. So we're just trying this in, always try a tray in first, just make sure it goes over the ridge and you can see it going in the saddles. Now this doesn't fit, so we're gonna have to fill it with compound. Oh, yeah. So now we've got some preheated compound, it's been in a water bath. This has gone soft. If you get it too hot, it goes sticky. Somebody said to me, it goes sticky. It doesn't go sticky if it's hot enough, so too hot. So put it in the, in the tray, fill the tray with it. Back in the water bath for a few seconds to make sure it's uniformly warm. Just like that. Okay. So, now I'm gonna to go to the patient with the ice warm mirror. Steph's gonna place me around here. Slide it in the mouth back first. You push up and you watch it go over the sulcus. So push fairly firmly, relax your top lip and just push into the, into the mouth. Finger pressure in the middle and take it out. Just like that. Okay. So now we need some Chemden stick. You can see we're slightly short around the sulcus, so we're going to use some stick to increase the sulcal depth. So we do one side at a time, just warm this gently in a flame. You don't drip it everywhere and you don't fry it with too vigorous a flame like somebody showed me last night in the creme brulee thing. So, form the sticks, you've got about half a stick long. And then you add it round the impression one side at a time. Flame, water bath. It's going to be a bit warm top right. We place the tray in the mouth, the green stick. Then we form the sulcus, push up, relax the cheek, just gently massage, wiggle your chin left to right, and there's your buckle sulcus. Okay. And same on the other side, you want to make sure you've got both sides the same depth. You can see we've got full depth here, this side we need a bit more. So let's turn the wake up a bit. So one stick is probably enough for an upper impression. You've got to be patient and heat this slowly. If it's dripping, you're overheating it. If the compound is sticky, you've overheated it in the water bath. Just let it, you've got to be patient, guys. And then, we trace it around here. And go to the mouth with it, like that. Side, go to the mouth, retract the cheek. Slide in, watch it go over the ridge, that's the critical bit. Seat in the palate with your thing, finger. Wiggle your chin left to right. And then take it out. There you have the sulcus. Upper's really critical, watch the tray go over the ridge. This is the bit that people miss. Watch it going into the sulcus. That goes in first so the patient doesn't have a bit with it. Moving it down the throat, push up, finger in the palate, border mold. Border mold. Patient moves their chin left to right. Then we wait for it to set. Now it's set, just gently release it, finger down the buckle sulcus, release the back first to break the seal, like so, take it out. Okay. So this is interesting. This is made by Chemden. There's six strips in a row, and they used to make this as compound. And it's a great idea because you've only got one free end saddle, you don't need a whole cake of compound. So we're going to use this to do a free end saddle impression on a lower. So just put that in the water bath. Don't forget, wrap it in gauze, guys, otherwise it'll stick to the bath. So wrap it in gauze and leave it in there for a few minutes while it, it heats up. Okay. Okay, okay so now we're going to do a lower impression. We've tried the tray in the mouth. We've got our Kit Kat bar. Put the compound down there. It's the only place we need it. It might have got away with two sticks for that, which shows you this is a good. A good product because it means you can be kinder to the environment and kinder to your wallet. So this is a third of a cake of compound for a free end saddle. So put it in the tray, get it roughly the right shape. Okay. Pop this in, seat the tray, down on the teeth, and you just push down gently and ask the patient to stick their tongue out. It's in for mouth for a few seconds, literally you then take it out. And if you can see teeth in it, you just push your finger in it to make sure you've got room for the alginate. Ready? Yep. So here we are, we've got now a gap for the teeth. I just want to see if there's any more lingual sulcus to be had. This is where green stick comes in. We add some there and slide it in the mouth. So, get my throttle. This is precaution. Normally there's a little bit more lingual extension to be had than you get when you just put compound in the mouth. So again, heat it gently. Don't let it spit, don't let it catch fire. 
just so it just starts to glisten. Add it to the tray. And that's warm at that point, so you have to cool it down. But you want to create a lingual sulcus. Okay, so we put that in the water bath for a minute. And then sit there. Slide it and tell them to relax their tongue. And then you may need to coax it down lingually. So you tell your patient you can stick your finger down their throat and you just push it lingually. Yeah. And then you ask them to stick their tongue out. Wiggle your tongue left to right. And then you take it out. And there's your lingual sulcus. Okay. Okay, so now we're short. Buckley from that point round to there, we need to add some wax. And lingually from that point round there, we need to add some wax. You add the wax in two stages. A little bit of sheet wax, Anutex. Warm it up. Pre-cut this, you get four or five bits out of a sheet. Always hold it double to give it strength. You add it to the outside of the tray, not the inside. So where the compound stops, the wax starts. And you come round. So you're trying to create basically a special tray from a stock tray. So add the wax, bend it in a bit, then you go to the patient. Round, slide it in, use the mirror to attach the tissues, slide it over, and it seats. The patient sticks their tongue out and you push the wax into the sulcus like so, in for a few seconds, then you take it out and you see you've got full cycle depth, okay? If it's, if it's curling in lingually, just straighten it up a bit, otherwise you get an undercut and you can't get the tray out of the mouth, so. Patient, you ask them to relax their tongue initially. You tell them you're not gonna stick your finger down their throat at this point, for which they're very pleased. Ooh. And then you slide it in, and then when it's seated, thumbs underneath, fingers on the top, you ask the patient to stick their tongue out, lick their top lip left to right. And you take it out, and there's your lingual sulcus. Just yeah. So seat the tray, you put it under the tap, you pour the mould. Critical bit here, people forget this, keep the tongue moving, so stick your tongue out, lick your top lip, then relax your tongue, then I do some border moulding, then the patient licks the top lip again, and then you just wait for it to set. And this is already set because we were... <laughs> Steph didn't know how to unlock my phone. Sorry. It's fine, it's fine, it doesn't matter, it makes it human, doesn't it? Let me take it out. Gently does it, otherwise the object will tear. 